The title of today's talk was Diversity, Why Inclusion Matters. And what we tried to accomplish in the talk today was to share a little bit about my personal journey as it relates to diversity and inclusion because we believe there's just so much power in storytelling and so much power in being vulnerable and giving people access to who you are as an individual. When you think about uh, diversity, sometimes people think it's just nice to do or that it's a good philanthropic effort and some of that is true. Uh, but really as a company, we believe that without doing this, we're literally leaving money on the table. And so uh, the business case is frankly indisputable that those companies who lead in inclusion and diversity actually lead, in, lead financially. So 16 months ago we started with a, uh, we launched a new and renewed strategy that we call Inclusion 2020. Um, our company, Dow, is intentionally leading with inclusion because we believe that without it we can't tap into the, the, the impact of a, a real diverse workforce. So our vision is to, uh, by 2020, be leading in inclusion and to create a, a culture that is authentic, respectful, and equitable. Uh, we've actually put together a, a holistic and global inclusion strategy strategy that's based in seven foundational pillars uh, and undergirded with our, our corporate values around integrity, respect for people, and protecting our planet. So I think there's several simple things that uh, organizations and individuals can take to make sure that their organizations actually cultivate a true culture of inclusion. Uh, simple things like seeking out opinions that are different from your own, uh, engaging in affinity groups or what we call employee resource groups as an ally, even if you don't naturally identify. Uh, checking your own biases and looking for ways to eliminate them. Those are just a few key things and simple activities that people can take.